Solar electricity for the masses. The father of the Arrow anti-tactical ballistic missile, Dove Raviv, reveals to us for the first time a solar energy system that, according to him, can in the near future replace our present fossil fuel power stations. Daphna Liao explains. This large panel is the latest development in the field of energy, a development of the magnitude that can change the face of electricity production in Israel. We are enhancing the efficiency of an expensive solar cell by using a piece of plastic or glass that concentrates the light, giving us what we need. It is also based on the resource abundantly available to us in our region, the sun. But unlike other systems, it tracks and follows the sun automatically, and using the multiple cells assembled together on its surface, it collects more energy due to its larger size. Instead of using, for example, 600 standard solar cells, each a square centimeter, we use just one. For example, I'll show you manually the sun being focused on this piece of wood, and you will see just how intense this concentration, amounting to a factor of 600, actually is. Behind this system is a man with a history of significant successes. This is Dov Raviv, father of the Arrow Missile, Israel's anti-ballistic interceptor missile defense system, considered one of the nation's greatest defense technology achievements. Contrary to his usual practice, he agreed to be interviewed to further this system's progress and adoption, as well as in his own words to address an issue of wider and vital national consequence. Gas and oil reserves are dwindling. According to today's actual estimates, it is predicted that within 20 to 30 years the cost of using them will no longer be economically viable. Israel can only secure its future through a massive deployment of solar energy plants. In this project, he has invested seven years of work, thousands of hours of research, and has raised tens of millions of shekels. The message is simple. By using this form of solar energy, it is possible to produce electricity using significantly less land, a resource which in Israel is dear. The size of the system behind me is 12 by 20 meters and is able to produce enough energy to supply the needs of 18 homes in Israel, twice as much as any other solar power system having the same area. Because you can place these trackers close together, deploying a series of them on an area of one square kilometer will provide the energy needs of 33,000 Israeli families. By 2020, the government of Israel will make the utmost to reduce its CO2 emissions by 20% compared to the business as usual scenario. At this stage, the commitments that Israel made at Copenhagen don't seem to be feasible. Today, Dov Raviv is turning to government ministers with his own concrete plan to achieve the goal. It requires cancelling the present plan to build a new coal power plant in Ashkelon and instead take up his plan. We know how to construct three solar power plants of 400 megawatts each within six years, which is two years less than it would take to build coal plants of equal power production. Now, following the development stage, Mr. Raviv works hard to convince the government to invest in a long-term project to build solar plants, or at least not to get in the way of progress. 